You won't believe what's about to happen. Welcome to the domain of some of the most dangerous creatures on Earth. Millions of venomous scorpions skitter through the shadows, lurking in the darkness. But why? Why would anyone deliberately raise such a massive number of these deadly arachnids? What makes their venom so valuable? Get ready to be amazed as we uncover the secrets of scorpion farming. Forget those scary movie stereotypes. These guys are seriously cool. First off, they can be found on every continent around the world, except nope. Antarctica. But they're most common in deserts and areas of hot, dry lands. Now, did you know scorpions are ancient? Scientists even think they might have been the very first animals to make the leap from water to land. And if you thought you were good at saving money, wait till you hear this. When food is scarce, scorpions can slow down their metabolism to a crawl. They can survive on just one insect a year. Plus, they can withstand incredibly harsh climates too, both hot and cold. But here's the coolest part. Scorpions glow in the dark. Well, under ultraviolet light, anyway. They have these special fluorescent chemicals in their exoskeletons that make them light up like little neon signs. How awesome is that? When it comes to scorpion farming, the most common method is using stacked egg trays. These trays provide plenty of hiding spots, allowing scorpions to live together. Another approach is raising them in individual plastic containers, giving each scorpion its own separate space to prevent aggression and cannibalism. Some farmers also opt for large tubs or containers filled with shelters, simulating a more natural habitat. There are around 30 to 40 species with a sting strong enough to kill a human. Thankfully, humans aren't on the scorpion's menu. And these quirky critters will only attack if they feel threatened. Scorpions have small appetites and prefer eating small, tender animals like mealworms, earthworms, fly, maggots, and cockroaches. Fearsome predators, scorpions have an impressive method for catching their grub. When hungry, a scorpion will quickly grab its prey with its pincers and then whip its telson, the poisonous tip of their tail, forward to sting and kill the doomed victim. Ouch! These awesome arachnids typically eat insects, they typically eat once every five to seven days and consume only one mealworm per feeding. It's important to provide enough food so that there's a surplus after feeding, preventing hunger and cannibalism. Scorpions go through a fascinating yet delicate process called molting, where they shed their old exoskeleton to grow. This transformation happens multiple times throughout their lives. once they are one to two years old. Scorpions perform a courtship ritual that resembles a dance. But if the female shows interest in the male, they typically begin by facing off and holding on to one another's pedipalps. Then rotating back and forth together with their tails, the dance may last anywhere from minutes to hours. At the end of the dance, the male deposits his spermatophore on the ground for the female and then leaves. Pregnant scorpions are carefully separated into their own individual enclosures. Scorpions are viviparous. That means they give birth to live young. The babies may be born 2 to 18 months after mating, the baby scorpions, right? They're born in these huge litters like anywhere from 2 to 80 little guys. And get this, they're not just plopped down and left to fend for themselves. Nope. They hitch a ride on mom's back for a while. So here's the kicker. You have to separate them or mom might, well, you know, snack on them. 
Yeah, cannibalism. Not cute. When it's time for harvest, scorpion farmers have to be both skilled and cautious. The process starts by carefully gathering the scorpions into large containers, making sure to handle them safely. These creatures still pack a venomous punch. From there, they are sorted based on their final destination. Some are sold by weight to restaurants. Others, particularly those with medicinal value, are carefully placed into individual containers. These high-value scorpions are often sold per piece to pharmaceutical companies or traditional medicine practitioners. Extracting scorpion venom is a delicate and highly specialized process. But why go through all this effort? Scorpion venom contains powerful compounds that have shown promise in treating conditions like cancer, arthritis, and even neurological disorders. In many parts of Asia, scorpions are commonly used for medicinal liquor. Scorpion wine is believed to enhance vitality and relieve ailments like arthritis and chronic pain. You can also find scorpions served as street food. Typically, they're boiled to neutralize toxins, then deep fried until crispy. Some are skewered on sticks, making them one of China's most famous exotic snacks. Crunchy and slightly salty, they're a must try for daring food lovers. Would you give it a shot? Deep in the heart of Asia, an unexpected farming revolution is taking shape. Here, massive pythons are not just surviving, they're thriving in carefully managed enclosures. But what's the real secret behind python farming? These powerful creatures are at the center of a booming industry, supplying high-end leather, traditional medicine, and even gourmet cuisine you're about to witness something extraordinary. These beautiful, cold-blooded creatures are beloved for their vibrant colors, impressive size, and inquisitive nature. So we thought we'd help you get to know them a little better with these facts. With 41 known species, pythons form one of the largest and most diverse snake families in the world. Unlike many other snakes, they are considered primitive due to their possession of two functioning lungs. All pythons are constrictors, meaning they subdue their prey by wrapping around it and tightening their coils rather than using venom. Royal pythons can live for over 40 years. Meanwhile, the reticulated python holds the title of the longest snake in the world, growing up to 10 meters long and weighing over 113 kilograms. In the wild, pythons have a varied diet that includes monkeys, antelope, and even caimans. Yes, you heard that right. Their ability to consume large prey means they can go weeks or even months without eating, typically consuming meals only four to five times a year. <laughs> 